Norman. Chaz is here and he's ready for the show. Dan is here and he is ready for the show. Right. Welcome to Wine and Series Business Episode 271. It was a slow start. We've been off our game for two weeks. Our friend Avald gave me a hard time about it yesterday. Did he? Yeah, because we've been, I, I've been slacking. I haven't been posting videos. I've been on vacation. Yeah, But now sure. we're sitting at the table. We've got Riesling in front of us. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Yeah. 271. You gotta, you gotta pound that. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So while Dan's drinking, uh, I had to come up with a show kind of quickly for this one. So I was like, let's try, I want to drink some Riesling first off. Um, and I wanted to do blind Riesling. Unfortunately, I couldn't find, or blind Riesling from all over the world. Unfortunately, I couldn't find Riesling of similar sweetness levels, so I knew that myself, personally, I would probably be able to differentiate the bottles apart very easily. However, Dan does not know what these are, no, other no. than that they are Riesling. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna just go with that and see if Dan can figure out what they are. Quick shout out, that was the Trisadum 2011 Coast Range Dry Riesling, I liked it. Yeah, uh, I had another good. Coast Range Dry Riesling Ooh. for them that didn't age so well. I just screwed up. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I poured some uh, Rieslings together, so. Oh, that's all right. Little rinse. Little rinse. Big rinse for you. It's yeah. okay. Chaz has a task shortly. In about an hour, he's going to go burn his mouth off. We're at Fire on the Mountain, right? Yeah, we're going to Fire on the Mountain to do the uh, El Happy Challenge. 15 wings in three minutes. The boss. So, a little off camera pour here. So, now I'm shaking like crazy today. Hot sauce and <laughs> me. I'm really hungover. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We got, we, we, yeah, Dr Drusha started her weekend last yesterday, so we uh, kind of went on What was drink the night last night? Drink of the night last night was, uh, we were down at Swift Lounge, and they have this uh, cucumber, basil, whatever that nice. thing is called. Gym? No, it's uh, vodka. Vodka, okay. Okay. vodka yeah. cucumber, piece of vodka. Topless ramen. Like... Topless ramen, that's what it's called. No, it's... Guilty Sparrow. Something. Yeah, it's, it's a bird name. Anyway, it's Great. really good. So check out the Swift Lounge if you're in downtown. So. I love to cover the cocktails. Everybody say hello to Tweezel. Yeah, he's on camera. He's going to be real soon. Yeah. There we go. Settle him down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Distractions. Wine number one. Wine number one. A lot going on in the nose here. Uh, yeah, it smells good. Little minerality, little funky, little like a. Little like st slower stream water, not like like green stream water in the summer, but not like yeah. that crisp clear glacial melt mountain stream either. Yeah, there's a, there's a note of minerality to it, along with you know like the typical sort of like a little bit of green, light green apples. I'd say pears kind of stick out most distinctly to me, the green pears. Um, a little bit of honey, just a little bit. Touch oxidized, I think, but a little bit of oxygen mm -hmm. going on there. Yeah, I would agree. I hope those cat ears aren't making this unwatchable. I have no idea what it looks like on that side of the camera now, but uh, Matt can check it out for us. Yeah. Oh. Drinks rather nicely too. So we're gonna go from I think driest, most uh, most dry to most sweet uh, in order, which would be proper, be yeah. correct, right? So gentle on the palate. I'm getting like some yellow apple flavors, edging in the candy direction a little bit, like a little bit of yellow apple candy, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of white frosting or something like that. It's like lifesavers or something. Sure. Yeah. What's that? Tail pops up every now and then. Oh, awesome. sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Everybody loves the cat. Yeah. So, um, the, the a large amount of citrus kind of hangs on the finish, like as the wine dro uh, finishes. A lot of acid, a lot of citrus. Fairly straightforward wine. Pretty Fairly simple. straightforward. Can you garner a guess yet, or do you want to wait until we drink all three wines? Pretty confident this is American. I'm going to guess Washington, actually. I'm going to guess Washington. I'm going to guess it's not... It's not like a 2014, either. I'm going to guess that it's like a... Oh, yeah. A 13 at least. Vintage. But, it, well, yeah, I'm not going to go too much with that. But the vintages do vary good. here, so try okay. to guess vintage. Yeah, so I'm going to... We'll just say... What the heck? We'll, we'll go for... I'll, I'll say 12, actually. We're going to say we're okay. going to say it's 2012 from Washington. So, overall, pretty easy drinking Riesling as far yeah. as on the dry yeah. spectrum. Um, fairly simple, um, 87 points, 86 points, well, 86 points for me. Okay. Yeah. More, more generous. Boy, uh, eight, 85 for me, and that's a, that's a bit of a stretch for whatever, uh, in, other, in other times I'd be a little, I'd be a little more positive about that for whatever reason today, the flavors aren't hitting me as well. Um, it just seemed kind of straightforward and the flavors yeah. aren't so compelling. I like the structure of the bonus, but. I like the way it smells know. quite a bit. The yeah. taste, it tastes a little straightforward. Sure. Yeah, but it smells fine. I, I drink plenty of 85 point Riesling, but. There could be more. 
I do drink plenty of 85 foot Riesling. That's a change. Holy crap. Yeah, boy. <laughs> a lot more sweetness already. Yeah. And this isn't and this the is, sweetest this one. This isn't the sweetest one, yeah. I wonder, if, do you think, is, is there a chance that it could be the sweetest one? Oh, the alcohol levels are actually right in line with each other. Yeah, so so, so the designations are a little different, but uh, maybe this... It's yeah, possible. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. so wine number two. Wine number two. And what I think is a semi-sweet. Smells wonderful. Yeah, a little bit of like like good ripe apples, like like greenish apples, and, mm -hmm. and some cool like white or yellow floral component there. Some really nice complexity on the nose. A little bit of peachiness, like the stone fruitiness kind of come out of it. Like yep. A touch of pineapple. Um, got like a tropical thing that's just like really really nice. Totally. I mean, it, good it, touch of minerality. Smells smells just awesome. This smells really. Those delicious. of you who just listen to us talk and keep us minimized or in the background, bring it up. Cats doing stuff on camera. How often do you get this? She's got, she's got some cat grass she's into, so. <laughs> anyway, um, back to the wine. It's just an edge of something savory. Makes mm. me think of like spicy sausage or something like that, but it's real faint. Good complexity. Mm. Mm. Real nice acid on the palate. And really well integrated. Totally. Whereas last wine was a little bit, you know, a little bit, the acid was an afterthought. This is just all right in line. It's really, really nice. Oh my gosh. Everything's gentle. Juicy. But the acidity, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really uh, good. Yeah, the acidity settles in um, right in the middle of the tongue, kind of spreads across the back palate. Um, if it were any lighter, I think this would be a really heavy, thick wine, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's uh, it's not the case. The acidity really keeps it in check. Good balance. Yeah, the, the, the balance is surprising, and just the feel of it. Like It's, it's got a very refined, very nice t uh, feel on the palate. And in the, the cheeks, that's good. But yeah, flavors are sort of similar to what to what I was expecting or what I saw on the nose. A lot of peachiness, um, yes. a lot of a lot of apples. Um, the, the, the tropical thing is not so much there. It's almost like young peaches and, and, and sort of like bright bright juicy apples. But just the, just the juiciness and the and the way that the acid is is there, very well integrated with the fruit package is awesome. Fantastic one. Ninety one points for me, definitely. That's uh, ninety plus. 90 yeah, plus this is really. The way it sits on the palate, the way it evolves, you can enjoy it at a number of different points mm -hmm. as it progresses. Um, really nice. What do you think it is? German non Mosel. Okay. Um, Vintage. 2013. Since we're guessing, since we're playing games, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess Nahe. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll probably just take my. It's good to be wrong a lot when you're, when you're blind tasting, yeah. it keeps you humble. <laughs> I'm wrong a lot when I'm Yeah, playing. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so lastly. Good, I'm feeling better about my German call on number two. Alright, wine number three. Boy, this is... I almost think we should have went with the... Switch the two and three. Because this is... A little more austere on the nose? Totally. Oh, no. That's not saying a lot. Like, this is a really... Very there's a lot to this one. Correct. We're going to assume this is German. Th this could be a light Auschwitz. I bet nobody makes those anymore, right? Like, it's probably a <laughs> yeah. declassified, declassified Auschwitz. Let's spread this one. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see how it plays out. But this is sort of like oh. just just green apples to me. Like, that's all, almost all I get out of the nose on this. Like, it's very... Um, it's it's awesome. almost almost to the point of austerity. Really, just not showing much on the nose. But then with smash up Smarties, Ooh. straight up lavender. Lavender, lavender. is like not I, that's all from I the guy who didn't want to be on the show. Yeah, yeah. it's straight up lavender. <laughs> Weird kind of like crushed stones thing. A little bit of oxidized you should, you apple should be on too. The show with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt loves the Riesling. Matt, yeah, yeah, got a good palate for it because I do I do totally smell that like hint of like. Fairly strong hint of lavender, yeah. But man, the, the for me it's just like sort of oxidized green apples. Yeah. Anyway, hmm. it tastes rather nice. I mean, it's, it's pretty strongly fruited, just just with like yes. this, like like a sort of a bright apple, right, totally. right, delicious apples. Totally, the bread apple even, like, yes, yeah. Yeah, all the way right, yeah. but before it starts to get soft and squishy. Mm -hmm. um, the oxidization's not really showing on the yeah. palate. 
um, kind of getting towards peak red apple here, right? Like, Absolutely. you know, your 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 Brayburns, like your Honeycrisp, like they've got a little bit of green in them. This is one of those. It's like the red delicious, totally. like all the way into the sweetness. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really what up. Almost hinting to like a, a, it's not fig, but it's almost like pruniness or something. Like as it finishes, I can see it. Right, yeah. like it's like it's like some sort of dried fruit sort of on the finish, which is also kind of a nice touch. Yeah, touch it lends to something. Lends to the ox, lends to like I now I'm thinking more oxidative qualities, yeah. but yeah. Um, an interesting, fun wine. There's enough acid to keep the sugar in check. There's a lot of sugar on this wine, and the sugar is can be felt. Yeah. As the wine finishes, like it's a little clunky on the finish. You know, I can see why this might be even rated higher because I can feel the acidity is strong late, mm -hmm. and it's even got kind of that rough component that I get out of wines with a lot of really Agreed. heavy acidity. Agreed. And I think they left the sugar high to kind of combat that because if this went dry, it probably um, wouldn't be very enjoyable. It's very possible. Um, so I feel like that was kind of a good decision, and, and the sugar, the sugar is definitely on the winning side, right? As it is, the acidity, the acidity is kind of in the background. Um, no, it's it's a good but it's, it's, it's a good yeah. wine. I mean, it's it's got some it's got some. Very good qualities to it. I think that with the right food, especially, this could be absolutely wonderful. But I think I, I think I should have flipped number two and number three. I'm really kind of bummed out now. No, it's uh, okay. I, I don't feel like we're missing out a lot here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Am I going to see anything if I pull down? Oh yeah. Pour, pour yourself another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. How do you feel about that? I just want to. You like this? I mean, I saw bottles before, so I know exactly what they are now. After casing them. I like this wine. Yeah, this is this is more like 87, 88 point range for me. Yeah. Maybe a little more, like 88 points for me. Totally, I'm also Actually, with you on that. This yeah. is this is a delicious wine. Yeah, and, I, and this is one that I'd be very interested to see with a bit of age. Like, check this, check it on this in five years. It's probably gonna be freaking money as things integrate a bit better. But. Yeah, I'm hoping it's from like a, a not so famous region. I, I'm still trying to narrow down where I think it's from, um, but oh. you gotta make a guess before we start pulling right. it. So. I'm gonna have to guess New York, I guess, and I've already done Washington. I, I and I kind of think Oregon, but oh, uh, vinyl. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with New York. I really hope it's Oregon, though. Okay. And anyway, flavors are flavors are. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's go ahead and do the reveal. I mean, like I said, I already know what they are. Enough so talking, yeah. Yeah. Dan picked Washington for this one, and what 2012 vintage? 2012. Yeah. So off on both regards. Yeah. But it's Australia from 2010. Cool pick. All right. Yes. Well, I know. I, yeah, that's not something I would know anything about. I don't know anything about this. And I actually found it at a supermarket. was just walking through New Seasons after I actually bought something else for the show. Yeah. But then I saw this and I was like, interesting. I have yeah. not had anything from this producer. Typically, people do who do art series wines have kind of had a run of it. Like, they do it for a while. So uh, my hope, without doing any research, was that this sure. is a winery that's been making wine for a while. And it sounds like it because they've been around since... Mondavi basically told them that reason was good to make. Since our first edition in 1978, that's where it There you go. So, it's an old winery. Yeah, uh, Lewin Estate, yeah. Art Series, Margaret River. Yeah. In what year? 2010. 2010. So definitely more aged. Yeah. Um, cool wine, yeah, honestly. Yeah, cool little frog on the front. And so this was a $18 bottle of wine. Sure. Fair enough. Totally reasonable. And, uh, and these, are, these are all actually right around the same price. And interesting to see that it's got those like apple flavors. The apple flavors are what I associate with the Pacific Northwest. And they're very similar in that Australian wine, which is a new experience for me. Agreed. And um, I think this is the first Australian wine that's actually showed, Australian reason it's ever showed well on our show. And, and no, and this <laughs> so. isn't the question today, but if you're a Riesling expert, I know a couple of you watch the show, let us know, do you ever get similar apple flavors between the Pacific Northwest and Australia? I've never heard of that before. I've experienced it by Australian Riesling. I need to drink Yeah, more. but I know someone that's watching this has, so yeah. let us know. Please. Uh, All right. So wine number two, you said 2013 Nahe... 2013 Nye, why not? You nailed it. <laughs> Donhoff, 2013. <laughs> and this is, the cool thing about this wine, I know, when you said that I was blown away. We actually tasted this wine when we were in Germany. Okay. So, um, worked hard to try to, uh, Matt actually found a, a line on this wine. So we split a case and I'm actually going to go buy more because this is like a $21 bottle of wine. Get it, is this just right. a QBA? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get so when we were tasting at Donhoff, this was the wine I was most in love with because I sure. was, while all their wines were fantastic, this was so good at such a reasonable price point. Like this is this is why Riesling is the best grape in the world. And and this is why 2013 is the year to get in on it. If you if you're a big collector and want your Auschwitz TBAs, whatever, yeah. you know, like like they're good, but the lower classifications, your Cabernets and your Spätlese, 
off the hook. The acidity so is fantastic. The flavors are really solid. I think all of the top producers are you know get those 2013 cabinets. Yep. And, and this is just this cute. I, this has to be at least Schmaler's level sweetness, but yeah, it, it, it's up there. Like yeah. that's why I was surprised when we tasted because I didn't remember it being that sweet when we were there. But whatever. It's drinking well now. All right. So last one. You said. Another, I, another region. I said New York. New York. Because right. I, I, I didn't want to go Pacific Northwest twice, so. Oh, hey! No. hey. It's, it's their late harvest region from 2013. That makes me so happy that this is an Oregon wine. Um, yeah. yeah, boy, that's drinking well right now. And I, I also encourage you, especially those of you who are involved in Oregon Riesling, make sure you get out there and try this bottle. I totally agree. This, this wine has been a darling of mine for like years. Basically, ever since I've got into wine, I went to El Cove one of the first times I went out tasting and tasted early harvest Riesling. They don't make a lot of it. They really just generally sell it out of the tasting room. Yep. Um, it's it's always good. Like it's always a, it's always an interesting. Sometimes one. it's great. I've really enjoyed a couple I, of these. Yeah. I agree. Um, I think thirteen maybe was a tougher vintage because like some of them, especially like in twelve, or some of the warm vintages are a little more lush and just like the fruit is just kind of all over the place and really good. Um, not to say that this wasn't, but. It's it's a uh, it's a very good bottle of wine. If you can stop in at El Cove, you should go check out their tasting room sometime. It just got expanded. Yeah. But um, friendly folks. But, but you'll get yeah. to taste this, and it's cool wine. I mean, you don't get you don't get a lot of like very sweet rieslings in Oregon, right? I mean, you get the sweet pea from Brooks, which is fantastic. Yeah. A few of the people do like full on sweet wines, and this was one of them that I would say you have to try. Yeah, totally. So fun show, nice picks, man. We, yeah. we, 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 this happened today. We were like, oh, we should do a show tonight. You want to get wine? Like, uh, yeah, I think I can get something. Together, and it works. This is what we came up with. Great show. Uh, we got to come up with a question of the day. What is your I'm favorite sorry. fish? What is your favorite fish? I was uh, vacationing in northern Minnesota <laughs> for a while. That's that's why that's why I, I missed posting Ooh. a couple episodes. Um, what is my favorite fish? It's a tough call. Yeah, it depends if you're talking about sushi or if you're talking about cooked. No, nope, we're talking about cooked. We're talking about you're cooking okay. at home, you're frying a, a fillet of something like that. Like, I think the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cedar plant salmon, so it's going to be salmon for me. There you go. And I, I love salmon from the, the Pacific Northwest, yeah. but, but the walleye from the homeland, I just had some <laughs> fresh stuff recently. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and I just love it. So, so let us know what your favorite fish is. Again, not sushi style. Yep. Just pan fried at home. Look forward to hearing about it. Cheers. Three more reasons. Yes. See ya. Yes.